What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Becca Doll. You know, I like to do these bathroom diaries with Sha. I hope you guys are, like, all ready for this new year. I'm so excited. Um, I hope you guys... I know a lot of people, like, write down their goals, but do you reflect back? Because... I don't know if you're hard on yourself, but I'm extremely hard on myself. And, um, you know, I have to reflect back and be like, whoa, I really did accomplish these things. Um, I also keep like a hundred dreams list and I keep a dream book and like pictures or whatever, you know, of stuff I want. I love to do vision boards, all that fun stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's how I like to start my new year. I'm excited for this year. Um, I have came so far with my mental health, which we've been discussing a lot. Um, I went through a lot. I grew so much as a person. I, um, gosh, I've learned what my triggers are. I'm just overall happier. I'm way more productive. I've created some habits that I have been goals of mine for a really, really long time. I, um, and I have so many projects on my plate that I am trying to navigate like how to work on everything at one time or what's most important or how to manage my days and stuff like that because unfortunately I still work a regular job um and for those of you who don't know me welcome to my channel if you are part of the bossed up crew that's what we're gonna call y'all those people that are loyal y'all watch all my videos y'all chit chat with me all that stuff hashtag bossed up crew so if you are following me on facebook instagram tiktok all that kind of stuff you will um see i've been pushing a lot of facebook reels um and TikToks and you know just exploring other platforms how to use them the analytics and it's a lot to learn and extremely overwhelming so but anyways if you're new here I'm Rebecca Bush Becca Doll is the nickname and financial intelligence is the name of my game so I recently created a video and I left off telling you guys what my mission in life is because with these um social media platforms and what i'm doing and stuff i really want to narrow down um my niche i want to narrow down what value not narrow down i want to add more value you know to my followers when i create content um be on just telling my story so on this channel i talk a lot about my story my battles with mental health how i've overcame them um and you know just the crazy life story i've lived um uh, i breed dogs i know some of y'all are gonna hate me for that but i'm doing it in a very unique way so just wait you'll see um, if that's not for you, that's fine. You don't have to show me hate. You can, you know, you can just listen to the rest of it. Just skip that part. Um, I also have a business that concentrates on health and wellness and, um, inner and outer beauty and wealth. And I'm able to help people make money with that. Um, as well as I uh, am turning into more of a financial consultant, um, and adding more realms that I offer in terms of helping people financially. So, you know, whether it's life coaching or it's, um, you know, helping someone figure out a plan or something like that, that is what I love to do. I truly think that I was put on this earth to help people. I think I have um, an ambition that is hard to reckon with um almost to the point that it's aggravating and y'all like am i the only one i don't know y'all comment below because i don't find too too many people like me and a lot of people ask me like well how do you have so much energy and why are you always so happy first off i'm not always so happy i do battle with mental health issues um but I have also like faced death before. So I think I have like a whole different appreciation for life um, in, in those terms. And, you know, every day that I wake up, 
I am just like happy I woke up. Like no matter what the circumstances are, whether it's a great day, a profitable day or not, I woke up that day. And I think that's a huge blessing because a lot of people, um, you know, they may go their whole lives until they do pass and never really like face death dead on it. Happened to me like three times in a row back to back. Um, and then it also happened to me a lot, uh, several times growing up, not to the degree that it happened, you know, recently, but, um, which left me with a lot of PTSD and anxiety and things of that nature. So yeah, like I was saying, the last video that I made, I was telling you guys, um, that my mission in life is to plant trees for plant seeds for trees. I will never sit under. Plant seeds for trees I will never sit under. Now, I did get this from a mentor of mine. Um, I'm a sponge for knowledge. I wake up with a lot of energy and ambition to the point that it's almost, like, aggravating. Because I get really frustrated. Like, I love being a creator. I love this. I wish I would have started during COVID. Um, or just started regardless. You know, at the beginning, regardless. Um... But I didn't, and I am now, and I really found something I'm truly passionate for, and I found a way that I can give back in a larger magnitude. So instead of counseling someone one-on-one, -on -one, um, which I love to do and I will do anyways, I can reach way more people with my thoughts that day or what I'm working on and, you know, kind of tell my truth, and you never know who it may help. So when I say plant seeds for trees, I'll never sit under. Um, I just genuinely love people. I'm, I, it makes living in this world very difficult for me because um, people are extremely selfish. Um, they don't necessarily treat me with the big kind heart that I have, which that's okay. I know I was built different. Um, I know that I like everybody has given their own gifts and I'm realizing what my gifts are and how I can use them to help people and also how I can make money in the process because you want to be doing something that truly stimulates you and makes you happy um or what like what's the purpose for life like for real like what's the purpose and I think that a lot has changed in the past couple years you know or in many years and you know it's we're just really really seeing it now but Things are different. Um, so I love teaching people about money, how to save it, how to invest it, whether it's your at life insurance, um, whether it's to do your taxes, to incorporate your business, to build your, to do credit repair, build your business credit, start your own business. If that is something that you are looking to do, I'm your girl and I would love to help you. So there's a lot of things I've been looking into um, to add to my portfolio. Of financial things I'll soon be holding Facebook events um, and kind of do some live coaching and then eventually I will get to a point where what I'm doing is everything I'm learning I'm putting it into um, notebooks and it's separated by each platform each subject things like that so that eventually I can take all this intellectual property and things that I've learned and be able to offer them in another service type of service uh, how that'll look whether it'll be emails a book a class i don't know it'll be something um uh, one thing i have to really really focus on is being patient because i want everything right now and my brain just runs 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 full of ideas if you looked at my phone there is in my notes i use my notes a lot and um when i think about something i immediately put it in there i write it down I have tons of business ideas, quotes, um, I put things on my calendar that I want to do um, or I need to go back and read because I don't have time that, that second or, you know, I was just scrolling and came across something, but my wheels are always turning and I understand not everybody is like that, but that's me. So if you are interested in breaking out of this nine to five cycle, um, I am your girl. Like I said, a lot of things are changing. What we were taught 
um, or what our parents were taught and kind of what public schools here in America teach basically has nothing to do with how to succeed in life. They don't teach you how to pay your taxes. They don't teach you how to invest. They don't teach you about trading. They don't teach you how to manage a home, how to keep, um, how to deal with mental health issues as you get older, how to deal with the stresses of life. They don't teach you how to keep a home, how to keep a marriage together, how to take care of your kids. Those are things that you really need to know in, in life. And I'm, um, they're not being taught in the school system. Another thing that is really changing is that everything's moving towards technology and there I have never been alive when there was a more of a time a better time to start a business doing anything that you wanted on the internet like if you want to if you want to drop that nine to five and become a millionaire and you don't have a degree to do whatever you thought that you have to have a degree to do to obtain that kind of financial security it is possible now no matter if you have money, you don't have money, you have good credit, you have bad credit, there are options out there. And I think that's just really cool and amazing. Um, I think another thing that is really evolving and changing is the way Americans spend money. So most Americans, uh, since the pandemic, spend more money on products than services. That's fact, it's not opinion, it's just the straight facts. That's why we see such a, that's one reason why we see such a delay on items being shipped and so forth. So, with that being um, said, you can tap in to this chain of supply via the internet without investing, having a warehouse, a storefront, all kinds of things. Now, if someone tells you you can't make money on online, your next question to them should be, well, have you ever ordered anything online? Well, if you shop online, there is a train of, chain of command or something where people are making money that way. So, I just encourage all of you to really think about what you want, reflect about last year, what your goals were, what you accomplished. Um, Sit down with your family, teach your kids these things as well. I heard a really cool like tidbit today um, and it had to do, I think it was like a podcast or maybe like a radio station, I don't know, it was like a TikTok or a reel that I ran upon, or ran, ran upon. And it was talking about investing in yourself. So they used to teach people to save money, save money, invest, invest, give it to the banks, give it to the banks. No, that that's the, that, yes, it's okay to save and invest long-term and in different strategies, but you also should be investing in yourself way more. So when you invest, when you put your money into a savings, just a savings account per se, right? The banks are taking that money and um, they put it together and then they, they they use it for other investments. So they're literally just got a bunch of people to gather together and put their money somewhere that they can use and leverage. You know, and it's, I just think there's a smarter way. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I would love to hear your input. So, you know, chit chat with me in the comments below. Please follow me on all my other social media platforms. I'd love to hear what you guys do, what your businesses are. Also with this channel, I really want to work with local businesses um, in terms of sponsoring the videos or my business and stuff like that. Um, and I want to build up this boss up crew because that's what y'all are. If you're subscribed and you watch my videos and you like my videos, I love you. You are gonna be part of the reason that I can continue to create content. Um, and I promise you that I am going to be teaching a lot more on here, um, as well as telling my story. And I, um, am just going to share a little bit more in terms of adding value. Like I've really been doing a lot of thinking over the holidays about what I have to offer and things of that nature. So 
If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on, like at my videos. Like I said, check me out on my other social media platforms. And in the meantime, peace out and chicken grease. I love you guys. See you in the next one.